All right, y'all. Welcome back to Roller Martin Unfiltered. You know, in Marketplace, we feature black-owned businesses. Uh, they're doing a lot of different things. Joining us uh, this week uh, is the uh, president and CEO of uh, Just Play Entertainment, uh, Leah, uh, Leah Avery, joining us out from Chicago. Uh, they have created uh, a game. It's his uh, party game for the culture, Hip Hop Charades. Did you know Hip Hop Charades remix? Here's, the, uh, here's their video. Guess the acronym and win two points. All right, then. So, Leah, uh, tell us about hip hop charades. How did this come about? All right. So, hip hop charades is a family friendly game that brings families closer together. You have to outguess your opponent, the most hip hop lingo to win. And uh, I came up with the idea. I was very shy growing up. And, um, Games would always help me get out of my shell. And I recall when I was a little girl, my dad had a tire in the backyard. I had an idea to create a carnival in my backyard and charge my neighbors 25 cents to play games like uh, throw the ball in a bucket, like on the Bozo Show. So I've always been creating fun experiences and realize it's my passion and my purpose. So I love bringing family and friends closer together. You know, um, and again, look, black folk, we love games. We talk about getting together uh, with the family. Uh, and again, having culturally relevant games is important. Very, very. Um, a mom even told me that um, she purchased the game and um, she had a troubled relationship with her daughter. And after playing hip hop charades, it brought her and her, her uh, daughter closer together. So it's all about... Um, Bridging that gap and also it's multi-generational. Grandma can play with the grandkids. We have those growing up black sayings as well as the new sayings that you hear nowadays uh, that's trending in, in our social media. Um, absolutely. Questions from the panel. Gavin, you're first. Thank you so much for being here. I'm, I'm curious. I'd love for you to talk about your entrepreneurial journey a little bit. We know that black entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs face you know tremendous barriers when it comes to starting businesses. You've, you know, definitely navigated that and had a lot of success so far. And it's a shame, obviously, all these obstacles we face, because I feel like we have so much brilliance and creativity and ingenuity in our community. So tell us a little bit about your journey. What's enabled you to have the success that you have, you know, besides just your sheer brilliance and, and intellect and all of that? And, and what message do you have for younger black folks, younger women who want to do what you're doing? You know what? Um, I've definitely had some struggles. We, we, uh, my first game came out in 2007, and it was called Catch My Drift. And um, we did the guerrilla style marketing. We were in um, local local malls, Forest City. I grew up in Chicago, and uh, we were selling the games, and it did great. But it was very hard to uh, take that next step. Um, you know, the income, the the uh, the income revenue wasn't there for me to scale the the brand, and you ha I had to come up with uh, different ideas to to reach a wider audience. And um, what helped me grow was hosting game nights. We would host game nights uh, in Chicago once a month and we'd play hip hop charades, but also other games that brought back nostalgic memories like musical chairs and battle of the sexes games. So um, even to this day, there's still a struggle. But after COVID, um, uh, well, during COVID, it was it was great for all black card game creators to really blow up. And that's what's really been happening. And um, a lot of my peers that has these cool games, we actually stick together. You know, there's enough money for everyone. So we realize, you know, if we stick together and host events together, we can grow together instead of uh, feeling like there's competition. So we've been able to co-partner and co-brand with other businesses to help us grow as well and reach a wider audience. Jacquel? Well, first, I want to say I'm so excited um, about your hip hop charades. I'm a big cards player. Um, I wanted to know specifically, it's interesting how your um, game is transgenerational, right? Where you can include um, children as well as the grandparents as well. A lot of card games are either specifically really adult focused or more children focused. So what inspired you to make that blend? That's a great question. You know, over the years, I would realize that, uh, 
you know, the cards that I would come up with would only resonate with with people that's my age. And, you know, going to uh, trade shows and dealing with a uh, direct to consumer, I realize a lot of people will, may say if they're older, I, I'm not going to guess that or hip pop charades. I'm going to be bad at that, you know. So I wanted to change that and make them feel like you can play it too. You'll feel comfortable guessing these phrases too. And that way you could you can uh, communicate better with your family. So that's what it's all about is uh, reading that communication gap and, you um, you know, telling everyone all the all the coolest phrases that's out nowadays. As you realize, it's hip hop culture, but it turns to pop culture once, uh, you know, it once it gets the TV. You know, there are certain phrases you hear nowadays that was we heard it years ago, but now it's all all of a sudden new, or they call it pop culture. So we're just trying to keep people up up to date in these streets on all the hip hop lingo and and keeping our conversations cool. <laughs> Mustafa. Congratulations on the success so far. You know, I'm Thank curious. Uh, I really appreciate you finding ways of bringing family together. Uh, I've got family all over. Uh, I'm curious, is there any way to have this on a multimedia platform? Is that a part of, you know, maybe some of the steps down the road? What's the what's the ways if I have family in Kansas City and, and Kentucky and a number of other locations, how, how can we use this? Yes, uh, great question. So yes, we are working on uh, getting some investment dollars together so that we can actually uh, turn Hip Hop Charades into an app. Uh, most importantly, um, we also uh, we are, have an idea to create a, a Just Play, uh, what is it called, a Just Play Arcade. So it's gonna be an app, but not, not just playing Hip Hop Charades, but a, a whole plethora of games created by us for us. So uh, working on that and working on getting investment dollars for that as we speak. And then we also host events. We host virtual events as well and also in person. So we can bring the family together, host a birthday party uh, online and create an experience to remember. All right, then, folks, uh, it is Hip Hop Charades. Uh, where can people check it out? Of course, you got a discount for our um, Roller Mart Unfiltered viewers. Absolutely. You can go to hiphopcharades.com and put in promo code RMU. You would get a 15% off discount if you purchase a game and or event. We also go to, we're uh, actually in Chicago, Atlanta, and Nashville. So we also, we also travel and host team building events as well and uh, special events to celebrate special occasions. All right, then. Well, Leah, we appreciate it. Good luck with Hip Hop Charades. Thank you. All right. Appreciate that. Thank you very much, folks. We, we come back. Deion Sanders says,